The next question, the member for York Southwestern. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. My question is uh, for the Premier. Parents of children and young people with autism have long struggled for financial and structural support they require to get the proper care they deserve. We know the previous Liberal government let parents down, and under this government, the wait list have doubled. In York Southwestern, one such parent is Alexis, whom my office has been trying to help. Alexis has been frustrated with the lack of communication from Ontario Autism Program and has no funding support for her child and no end in sight to the length wait list. Why will this government not step up to the plate and address how Ontario Autism Program is simply not working and the wait list is clearly unacceptable? And to respond, the uh, Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite for that important question. Uh, our government has been committed to making sure that the children and their families get the supports they need, and that's exactly why we've been creating a program for the community, by the autism community. That's why we've doubled the investment. That's why we have approximately 40,000 children receiving supports right now through the plan, which is a multi-pathway program providing supports in multiple ways and that's why we did consultations listen to the community understand the needs to create a new program through the independent intake organization which has now been announced and we're moving forward making very good progress unlike the previous government that had 75 percent of children who would never receive any supports and that Response. was supported by uh, you know the the NDP what did you do to address this issue what member for Hamilton Mountain come so to order there is an Response. important progress that is being made we're on track to getting five times as many children into this program as previous the data supports that Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. This Saturday is World Autism Awareness Day. And back to the, uh, my question to, for, to the Premier. Alexis has met barriers when trying to access the Ontario Autism Program. And with the Special Services at Home Program, it, in fact, her SSAH application was, in fact, lost. And she had to resubmit it. Special Services at Home updated Alexis a few days ago, saying she cannot get a client number until funding is approved, and that the waiting list for her son is on is contingent on when and how much the government funds SSAH. Alexis sent a letter to the Minister of Social Services, and I was copied on, and I quote, we have been told earlier intervention is key for supporting kids with ASD, and if Question. you haven't figured it out by now, Emmett's early intervention window is quickly passing. Alexis has deep fears of her son's regression without getting the funding she needs, and in fact is fearful for, this, for his well-being. Families deserve so much better, and, and, and with a wait list of 53,000 children. When is this government going to provide the urgent help needed for the for their children's development. Mr. Children, Community and Social Services. Thank you, Speaker, and, and thank you for the question. Let me let me uh, first of all acknowledge the challenges that families have had and the importance of the progress that we're making to bring families into these programs. And I, I dispute the, the number that you're suggesting for the 50,000. The actual reality is that we have 40,000 children receiving support well right well now. Children and youth in the behavior plans, 3,665. A childhood budget funding, uh, a payments issued, 8,682. 32,000 for, for Hamilton Mountain for come to order. Interim funding for the foundational family services, 12,914. The opposition had the chance to support children and youth with special needs. They said no to the Grandview uh, Children's Treatment Center in Ajax. They said no to the One Door for Care uh, in in Ottawa. They said no to the Chatham Kent Children Treatment Centre. They voted against this funding and these investments not, wise, not once but twice. Our government is supporting. Thank you. Thank you.